Hey guys, a uh, quick but fun video um, of how to use user agent string well while web scraping, right? The founder of proxysapi.com, rotating proxy service. Um, here's what we know about this. If you're getting IP blocked repeatedly when web scraping, right, this is what you need to know. Even, especially even after using free proxy servers, maybe anonymous proxy servers online you found, um, you know, if you're getting blocked, the reason you're getting blocked is probably because you are not using a user agent string or you're sending a user agent string which comes default with a scraper, which identifies itself as a bot. So it's either that or you're sending some random thing which is not familiar for the web service, right? So what is a user agent string? A browser, typically sends the user agent string, in fact, all browsers do it, as a part of its header request, which is not seen by the user. Uh, that's what is called a header request, uh, which helps identify the browsers that's being used, what version of the browser, which operating system, blah, blah, blah. Is it a phone? Is it a tablet? Is it a computer, you know, desktop, whatever. Or the, originally, this was found, you know, this was deemed necessary, deemed necessary because, um, then web servers could serve content tailored to that particular you know screen size or version and stuff like that what they know about this so tailor that experience to that it's still being used and therefore now what's happened is web servers use that string uh, to go aha you know you're not supplying this this is the internal sort of trade secret that how come there's nothing in the user agent string so there's something wrong and they just block any novice Scraper. But not us, now that we know this, this, for example, is the Chrome user agent string on an iPhone, right? It says Mozilla is based out of that, all sorts of other stuff, and then you see the iPhone over there, right? And there is some parser on the web um, server which identifies exactly what this is, translates that to the um, developer, and the developer can access this detail for every request and therefore tailor it based on that. Uh, what he, what CSS he uses or whatever, right? So this is how it looks. Therefore, what you need to do is get a few of these. If you just Google online, um, the latest user agent strings, you'll list and you'll get like a huge list of this. You should take about 300 of these, put it into an array like this in a programming language. Let's say this is PHP or Python. If you just easily change this to Python, put it in an array and use a random generator to pick out one out of the entire array every time. And if you put it as a function, let your scraper use that function and get a random user agent every time. And then put it into your header and then send that to get um, to get uh, actual data, right? But that's not enough. These are fine. These are little tricks that, again, you're still playing in the amateur level if you're using all these things. You do not get you because at the end of the day, as a web server, I can tell that you're coming from the same IP. I really don't need browser agent strings. Maybe you can even play around with a few IPs and rotate them, but eventually a combination of these will reveal. I can block all three anyway, all five IPs if you have. So five or even 100 IPs don't cut it with the large web servers. You need thousands, you need millions. And we have millions of IP, uh, private residential proxy IPs. Uh, which are completely secure, HTTPS, and, and completely anonymous, and private and dedicated to how many of those users that we want to send them, right? So here's as simple as uh, to use proxy API, all you need is to call just one line of code will do it, like here, I don't know if you can see it. It's just one endpoint api.proxysapi.com. You just need to pass your API key, of course, to get the API key, you just register using your email, no credit card, and you'll get it in a minute. And you can actually test it right away. You know, it proxies everything through millions uh, of uh, these IPs. Every time you'll get a different proxy, actually, you'll probably never come across two proxies the same way, uh, that are the same, unless you request for them using session. So we handle sessions, we have uh, also rotating user agent string, we do that behind the scenes, so you don't have to do it. We even retry it automatically for you. So till you get your data, you won't even know that we, how many times we retried there sometimes. 
Uh, that happens really as well. We automatically sort captures for you, render JavaScript. Uh, all of this uh, is taken care of. All the other understandings like sessions and cookies and custom headers, everything, we handle all of that. And you'll be able to bypass literally all the restrictions and you overcome all that few drops with this. It's pretty easy when you do this as a professional service. Go to Proxy's API and check it out, guys. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it.